Hey guys, welcome back to another recipe of mine. So today I will be sharing with you guys how I prepare my cactus salad. And it's going to be very easy and delicious to make. So if you guys are the ones that like to enjoy a cactus salad, this is going to be perfect. So I have my um, cactus here and it's already um, cut, as you can see. And the first thing, we are going to have a pot of water already boiling because we do want to let our cactus get tender and well cooked in for about 20, 25 to 30 minutes. Um, because we do not want that sliminess that the cactus has. So that's going to be our first step, guys. And as you can see, I will be adding some cilantro and I have the red or purple onion, however you guys want to call it, and one tomato. And I will be um, cutting up some jalapenos in there as well. And of course, we are going to um, drizzle some lime juice to give it that um, flavor. Okay guys, so, so that's the start. I already have my water boiling and I am going to add my cactus in there. So as it's boiling, I'm gonna add my um, cactus in there. We do want to let this sit in there for about 25 to 30 minutes. You do want it tender, fully cooked. And I am going to add a pinch of salt. So we're gonna add a pinch of salt. So I'm gonna have it like on a, a medium high heat. And we're gonna leave it in there for about 25, I would say 25 minutes. And while that is cooking, let's start cutting okay, up so our first I'm going to um, do my onion. And we're not gonna use the whole onion, I'm just gonna use a little less than half. Next is going to be our tomatoes. Next is going to be our jalapenos. Next is going to be our cilantro. So we're going to um, chop it up um, really small. So just make sure you rinse off your cilantro really good and we're gonna uh, chop this up. Small pieces. And there you have it guys, I already um, chopped up our, our ingredients, our onion, and if you don't have the red or purple onion, you could use the white one. Um, I prefer to use the purple because it's, it's like a little more sweeter taste to your onion, and the white onion has a stronger taste, so. But it's optional if you guys wanna use the purple. And uh, one tomato. And if you do not want to add jalapeno, um, that's an option as well, and our cilantro. So the only ingredient that I am missing here is some queso fresco. I would have really loved to top it up with some queso fresco to give it that um, good flavor. But with just having these ingredients, it's going to be delicious. All right, so I'm going to have this aside, and we're just still waiting on nopales to be cooked. And then make sure you guys have a bowl or a container where you guys will be adding your salad in. Hey guys, since I had it in here for, for about 20 to 25 minutes, um, it is done. So now I'm just going to turn the heat off and we are going to drain the water of our nopales. So now we're going to add our nopales in there. And we are going to add the rest of our ingredients, which is our <clears throat> onion, tomato, and jalapenos and cilantro. And let's not forget to cut our lime and squeeze some lime juice into. So let's squeeze yeah. our lime in there. And I'm using one whole lime. If you want to use half, go ahead, use half, but I'm using one whole lime. Now we are going to mix everything in. And this is how easy and delicious your ensalada de nopales, which is your salad cactus, or cactus salad. If you wanna add a little bit more um, salt, even black pepper, go ahead. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. But first, let me try it to see if it has flavor. Okay. Hmm. It's actually really good, guys. I think that's perfect on my flavor, for flavor. And you can enjoy this with any meal you wish. Um, 
la tostada and I am going to be sharing with you guys how to do your own keto tostadas so you guys can um, enjoy the cactus salad with la tostada so there you have it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe if so please give it lots of likes comment down below and let me know if you guys would like to try the salad and if so um let me know down in the comments and like always don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you guys can keep supporting my channel and my channel will keep growing and i do want to say thank you for the new subscribers as well um keep sharing my videos as well on your social medias i would really appreciate that so with that being said guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one